Welcome back guys. Well, as you can see, I'm out in the middle of a field out in the middle of nowhere on a beautiful farm. And uh, the reason why I'm out here is because I was talking to a guy on the interwebs last night and uh, he had a car I'm interested in. Oh, we're going to be able to work a deal. He already had the car sold to another guy coming from Detroit. And I said, look, I'll give you more money for it. Let me please come out and look at it. And he said, all right. And uh, here we are. Let me show you. Oh. Yeah, she's seen better days, but she looks solid as far as I can tell. Oh, I had to get her pulled out to look underneath there a little better, but from what I see so far, nothing I can't manage. Oh, who knows? You might pull this thing out of here, get a good cleanup, and it surprise you. You know? Oh, what's underneath up there? I see some pipes. Are they just laying there? They're buried oh, in the that's mud. Where they cut that catalytic converter out and they just... Oh, left it. Yeah, that was a good one, I bet. They ain't, yeah, it ain't too bad. They just sank, I think. Oh. It's a good thing, too, because uh, my air pump, I realized, only needs a cord. I thought, it's never going to fucking reach with a cord. Oh, we're going to try to chop down some of these trees and stuff and uh, pull this baby out of here and get it where we can get a record to it. I should have brought a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, I, had one too. I might just have to pull that back. Here, let me. Out yeah, hold on, let me just to jerk the thing out there. Well, I don't want to do that. If I can get half these trees out of the way, I'd feel more comfortable with it. Yeah, we're going to be able to pull that apart. It's no, it's no hickory. get this off up where it's not dragging all over the car when we do pull it out I don't know if you got chains or whatever but I got some damn strong rope I brought yeah, yeah. yeah I decided to drive the ton van just in case that thing believe it or not it's not four wheel drive but it's policy track it'll go damn near anywhere oh Oh. Yeah, but it ain't. Huh. Well, we'll have to figure that out one. See, like the back seat, they're like brand new. I don't think they were. An old man and a woman. It ain't too off bad on the inside. Just you got sunroof. And clean. Yeah, that's one thing I wish it didn't have. Yeah. Yeah. Just because the hard tops are worth more for one, and then for two, this is where they're notorious to start rusting. Uh, as water gets in the seals. And you can see there, there's hardly any rust at all on No, that. it don't. I think it must have been garage kept by the original owner. I bet it was. It's in good shape. I think I can offer you a good fair price that you'll smile about. Uh, oh. oh, for sure gonna for sure gonna beat dudes off. Oh, yeah. Got a little head, it might need a fender. Got a little down here. Now, when we can pull her out, we can tell more about it. Go look underneath the son of a bitch at least. <laughs> Don't kill yourself. <laughs> it's fucking rough out here, ain't it? I ain't got to tell you, you probably lived here most of your life, didn't you? Yeah, I've been in Texas for a long time, and uh, that's the reason from where we buried him. Okay. Got a job up here at okay. AK Steel. And AK? I, I've worked at AK before, years ago, but oh, yeah. I worked in electronics there. Okay, I, learned, I worked up there during the lockout for a little while for a power washing company, MPW. Went in and cleaned the, cleaned the mill up and shit. Oh. Uh, I wasn't necessarily scaven. 
Because I didn't do anything that anybody locked out did. Oh, I had a, I had a big run in with the union. Did you? Well, that was a hell of an ordeal. Was you there for all that? The lockout and all that shit? Uh, I went there in the morning. Oh, way back. When it was when it was good. Yeah. Hey, I know how them boys did it out there. I used to go around <laughs> and they'd be liquor bottles, beer cans. Hey, them motherfuckers partied all goddamn night the next work. They had... Uh, when I was getting all my paperwork done to, uh, you know, to work there. Yeah. The union said, uh, well, you pay your $500 initiation fee and you're good to go. And I said, no, no, no. I said, I'm already a steel worker. Yeah. And they said, well, that was a different local. What and local said, would you switch to? I worked at the steel mill in, in Texas for nine oh, years. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. And I said, look, I've been paying union dues to the steel workers right. for nine years in a right-to-work state. Right, they want you to pay another phone. initiation? Yeah. Bullshit. I swear to God, I'd have went back to Texas for it. I'd give them $500. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, that's crazy. They'll try, won't they? Yeah. They said, you need to settle down. You ain't working here at all. My dad got me in the labor's union when I was a... 18 and the way we worked that is if you worked one day on a union job they had to fucking put you in the union so he just brought yeah he just brought me in throwed me on the job two days later union shows up and says you working on our job site boy you gotta be one of us pretty much so yeah they're good for the most part they're about like everything else Yeah. That's right. That's right. Well, we'll see. Yeah, well, we get a patch of that. That'll probably rip out right there, won't it? Yeah. I see an axle back there. They can get around. They've got an independent rear suspension. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a. Uh, they even got better and did a trailing arm suspension uh, in later years. The E36s came out with the trailing arms. I'll tell you what, I like this one better than the E36s. I like the E30s too. I think I do better than the E36 just because the chassis is lighter, more nimble feeling. Okay. Yeah, I like my E36s too, though. I've had several M3s, real M3s. Hell, they're through the roof on price now. I can't afford another one. I wrecked my last one, rolled it. Yeah, well, I wrecked my E36. <laughs> <laughs> over time, they're going through a curve. Yeah. Down over a hill. Yeah, same situation. I come around a curve and hit slush and ice. Had it out on the day it shouldn't have been. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it, buddy. I had a Corvette, I wrecked it too. <laughs> How the hell you wreck that thing? They're almost... I was racing some guy and it was wet and he clipped me and put me sideways. Okay. <laughs> I broke a telephone pole. Oh my God. With a fiberglass car. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. I bet. I bet it just exploded. So, 08, that's the last time this thing was on the road? Yep. What's she read? Yeah, yeah. Mileage was wrong too. I thought it was right at 100, but it's right at 200. On this one? Yeah. Okay. But like I say, the guy that talked to me, he was the BMW dealership's uh, mechanic. Okay. He said the old man that had it brought it in for every, you know, thing yeah. it needed done. I and think it's good enough it can be brought back for sure. Uh, like I say, I was hoping my son be a motorhead like me, but man, didn't matter. You know, I ain't got a kid one that's interested in fucking the shit neither. I'm a nut about it. I got a disease. I buy up everything I see that I don't even fucking need like this. <laughs> I told my son, because he was 14 when that all happened. I said, you know, we'll, we'll pull that into your grandpa's garage and we'll put yeah. that motor down. We'll see what's wrong with it. And, yeah. And uh, when you get 16, you'll have BMW drive to school. God damn right. Wasn't no more than that. Didn't give I two shits. Your grandpa would have <laughs> to lock the garage to keep me from getting to that. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm the same way. Same here, brother. Let's 
set this down right here a minute. Or maybe up here. I ain't got it coming yet, but I will. Uh, I wanted to wait till I got out here at least and see the situation, see if we had to get it pulled out or whatever. I think I got actually a little bit of service out here, though. I might be able to call from here. If not, I'll go to the end of the road and call them. Oh, hopefully they'll fucking use a local tow service. You know any local tow services that use Trip Away? Yeah. All right. What I like to do is just call them first and let them call trip away you know i know them uh, guys can usually work it where they're the ones that take it you know what i mean if they want it but i know it'd be some pretty good money 76 miles oh they'll tow up to 100 yeah i think i get four a year that's good. Planning. Where do you put it? Around your ball? Here's a hook I usually wrap it around the oh, down there. receiver and then just finish up. I'll, I'll let you do it. It's your truck. I don't want to fuck nothing up. You wouldn't believe what these things cost. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Quarter million miles on it. I had to pay five thousand dollars for this thing. Really? How, hey, how many miles this got on that van? And I'm gonna tell you the secret before you guess. It's a retired Coca-Cola van. Oh, three hundred, five hundred and seventy-five thousand miles. I knew a guy that had an old Chevy that uh, he actually wore the intake manifold out. <laughs> well, that one I I don't know if it's original motor. You know what I mean? I'm assuming not. I know Coca-Cola is a billion-dollar company, and they probably took care of it. Anything that's wrong with it, you know, you know it. And if they went down, they put them right back up. <clears throat> the back doors won't open either. Nope. Whoa! Yep, we broke it. Broke? Yeah, it just fucking ripped that strap right in half. That's a fucking crane strap, too. Must just been a little dried out. Because them things don't break very easy. Yeah, I got <laughs> well, that one runs out. I got some rope, too. I'm a high-rise window cleaner by trade for damn near eight years. Oh, I got all those ropes. <laughs> and they're like, a, they work like a yanking rope because they got a little spring to them, you know? Well, I was yanking on that thing get it out the other night. Was you? Yeah. Hopefully this one ain't locked tires up. Hopefully the tires aren't totally locked. Hopefully she's a roller. <laughs> yeah, fucking shit. It looks, like it, it looks like it's open. And I couldn't, I, I brought all the keys that I thought might fit it. Yeah. But I tell you what, that, uh, one of them. Well, I don't, I don't think, I tried them all, but they don't work. None of them? No. Mm. I think one of them is the key. But I left the key in that juice. I should have brought some of my Beamer keys. Sometimes they're universal. In the yep. middle of moving, you can't keep track of nothing. Yeah, that's the truth. So we might have to wire up ignition on it. And figure out some way to get in this some bit. It does look unlocked. It's crazy. Oh, let me grab this briar. It's fucking trying to get your head. It's real funny how I ended up this play yeah before i moved to texas my fishing buddy i mean our dads fished together me and him fished together a whole lot all right he lived up the top of the hill and it was going to be our last fishing before i went to texas and he said well come before daylight tomorrow we'll take a lantern and we can walk around the ridge and we can drop in on this pond and they can't see it from the house on this old place. On this place. So there's a pond up there. Yeah. We okay. snuck into 
And we fish. got like 20 some bass that day. No shit. It loaded them. Yeah. Nobody been there in years. Then uh, uh, when I come back from Texas, my buddy was renting this house. Well, then they decided to sell it. Sell Land it. contract or something. Well, or just straight up. to log it. Okay. And then uh, wanted to sell it after you got done logging it. So. Hell, it don't even look like it's been logged a lot. Are they logged farther back? He logged it in the late 80s. Oh, so it's going to grow back. Yeah. Yeah. How many acres is here? 22. Oh, man. I paid uh, $35,000 system. Oh, my God, dude. That's in 1989. Yeah, that barely gets you an acre these days. That's crazy, though. You know, the property values went up so nuts. I mean, I don't know how this area is. It's a little lower, but... I mean, it's still good. Well, all the difference in the world, vacant land is whether it's tillable or not. Yeah, yeah. The price that you mentioned, that... that oh, that's, that's no, that's with uh, being able to hook up a house to it and and have a uh, flat ground with yeah. cleared timber, yeah, for 25 to 35K an acre. But man, that's what they're fucking asking. Something like this out here would still probably be 15, right? No. No? Not hillside. Not all because it's hillside. It goes about 1500 2000 That's it? Really? Yeah. Okay. What about something like this? It's got a little flat to it. I mean, would they charge you more? I mean, I would think at least 30000 for just this little plot down here with the house on it. In the appraisal world, it's called having a... He's a realtor, so he how knows. How much utility the land has. Okay. Flat land has a lot more utility than here. Absolutely. So do they count uh, lumber at all as valuable or? That's or? a separate uh, price. Okay, I'm gonna put these keys in here on your seat. Right now. Where it ain't gonna do something drastic. <laughs> Actually, I probably better put them in a cubby hole, right now. You're getting ready to pull on this. You'll be cussing me when you can't find none of these sons of bitches. There, I'll put them in your uh, cup holder. Yeah, this one looks like a stouter strap. This one here had better days. Yeah, I've seen quite a bit of use. I spent a couple of years just cutting them up the treetops. Out here? Yep, but I had a wood burner. And, you know. Yeah, it made sense for you. Fuck free then. That. That'd be the only way to do it if you got lumber. Try to get on this other side here. Make sure it don't hit this. Try to keep this out the way as much as I can. Oh. Popping, cracking. You might have to hook the big old one time. That she moved. There she goes. My God, we ripped the bumper off, but we didn't break it. You know what? We folded that son of a bitch all the way over itself, and it didn't break. That's why I love BMW. They're made good. I tell you, this one's made a lot better than that E36. You think so? Oh yeah. Well, this will be the first E30 I've ever owned. I've drove a couple, but it need a grill, but we can find that shit. <clears throat> Yeah, I seen it on the other side as well. Right there by the door and the I fender. That that looks like it's got air in. Yeah, not too bad, is it? A little rocker, but not bad. Trying to get some light on the subject here. Another one the frame rail here. 
Can't really see how bad it is until you know, but it's not as good as I want, but it's better than I expected. Oh, that's a good thing. They should. I don't know if they will or not, but we can sure tell them maybe. The fork boards don't look all right as far as I can see. No, I mean, I believe it was garage cut in the end day. Oh, I mean, the worst it's had is being out here for the last three, <laughs> you know, four years, whatever, since 08, 09, 10, 11, 12. 14 years. 14 years been sitting. Oh. It probably wasn't sitting here the whole time, though. No, it was sitting on the other side of that Jeep. Okay. Barn. <laughs> the guy gave me two thousand dollars and said, uh, and he'd clean it up for me. What? The... That barn fell. Oh yeah. He gonna give you two thousand and clean. He gave me the two thousand dollars cash money. And never come and got the barn. That's what I told the guy at both places. Yeah. That's what the? Him now. Fuck. Well, technically, I mean, dude's ass out. Huh? Dude's ass out. I mean, well, been, uh, I can't believe he paid you. I mean, I figured he would just done it for scrap or whatever. You know what I mean? But I mean, but we can't be that much serious, sir. Oh, okay, so. Is the tin still there? No, he did take the tin. He did come get the tin. That's all he wanted. Well. Junk was up. He, he gave me this big story about, I know all these people that do art, arts and crafts stuff, and that tin's in real big demand. I can get a big dollar for it. Scrap my tin roof and come yep. back and gave me half the scrap price. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's exactly I what happened. Feel. Yep. Yep. Oh, can we look at the old Chevelle real quick? Oh, I know it's a parts car or used to buy parts, but we got to know this. This is a true barn find. Yeah. <laughs> 1989. 1989. Wow. Yeah, this is me, bro. Someday I'll have me a place. They got an old canoe over there. Yeah. What are you doing with it? Nothing. Nothing? Is it good or no? <laughs> I heard that. He might. Unless he bought everything on it. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at that. That's crazy. Just sitting here in this old broke down barn. And when it fell, nothing touched it. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. Right? The grace of fucking God saved it. You know you, how you tell a, uh, an SS from a non SS? No, I don't. Oh, yeah? yeah? So people switch out the grills and try to fake them like they do other cars? Okay. They've got jack here. Does that work? No. 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 Oh, it's a fucking L. Yeah. An L Chevelle. My I'll be other there. one is better. Yeah. <laughs> but this one has good doors. Yeah. Good tailgate. Good hood. Yeah. Good fenders. Well, the good thing about this car is it was a Texas car, so the rust is just minimal on it. Fucking surface shit, mainly. This stuff. The SS's, the gauge cluster Let me see. is round. Okay, yeah. And the non S S ones are rectangular. Really? Yeah, where the never realized cluster gauge is. Okay. Gauge and now what years is that? Uh, all of them, huh? Right? All of them, huh? This one's seventy two. That's pretty fucking neat. That's good. Jack. Get out of here before it falls in on the stressway. 
Don't kick no boards. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah. Got it turned in from one A frame to two. <laughs> A frame to a B frame. Yeah, or an M. It's almost an M now. We look at it. Yeah, double A. <laughs> All right. Oh. I guess we can uh, talk some turkey on this thing and I can see if I can get a hold of AAA real quick and we'll see you guys next time.